Welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas Rana. We are one stop solution for current affairs. You can find our Crack Current Affairs course on our application exclusively for current affairs, where you will be getting daily, weekly, and monthly current affairs on a regular basis. You can use code Vikas10 to get additional 10% discount while purchasing the course. This video is available both in English and Hindi. The timestamp for both English and Hindi are mentioned in the description of each video. You can contact us on the number provided or mail provided. Also, follow us on Telegram and Instagram, and the link for the same is provided in the description of each video. Also, students, we have started a new initiative that is of handwritten notes. It is helpful to understand the news daily, time saving, and very useful for your revision. We aim to cover 15 questions via handwritten notes in upcoming bank exams. These handwritten notes are available on Daily Current Affairs content PDF at our mobile application and website carriercloud.in. Only our Crack Current Affairs subscribers will be able to access these handwritten notes. A sample PDF of the handwritten notes will be available in the description. Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope you are all good. So students, in this video, we will be discussing important current affairs for defense and science and technology for September month. The session will be quite interesting and important and it will be very beneficial for all the students who are preparing for competitive exams. Let's start. The first question is, name India's first indigenously developed pollution control vessel of the Indian Coast Guard that was recently launched at the event that was held at the Goa Shipyard Limited. So, name that vessel, that is your pollution control vessel. The name of that vessel is Samudra Pratap, right? Take a note of this, correct? This is also known as uh, pollution control vessel. This Samudra Pratap, what this will do is, this will control the oil spilling. It will control the oil spilling that is taking place across the Indian coastline. Right? So, in order to protect the oil spilling across the Indian coastline, Samudra Pratap has been developed by Indian for the Indian Coast Guard and it was developed by Goa Shipyard Limited. Next, name the project that was recently launched by the Indian Army to provide support and services to the defense pensioners, veterans and their families. What is the name of that project? The project is Naman. Right? Project Naman. This project Naman will focus on the implementation of various systems for pension administration Rakshak. That is your Sparsh. What is Sparsh? System for pension administration Rakshak. This is a digital pension system that will streamline all the processes that are related to pension. Next, which organization has recently signed an air framer contract with Safal Helicopters Engines Private Limited to develop and supply a helicopter engine by the name Aravali. So, name of the helicopter engine Aravali. So, which organization has signed this air framer contract with Safal Helicopters Limited? It is your Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, that is Hall. And this engine, it has been named after the Aravali Mountain Ranges. Next, name the bilateral naval exercise between India and France that was held in Mediterranean Sea from 2nd to 4th of September 2024. So, what is the name of that bilateral exercise? The exercise is Exercise Varuna. Right? Then, this Exercise Varuna, it is the 22nd edition of this exercise held between India and France. Take a note of this. Right? And in this, from Indian side, INS... Tabar took part in this exercise. Next, name the aerospace company that has recently achieved the successful maiden flight of the India's first indigenous unmanned bomber aircraft that is FWD-200B. So, what is the name of that company? That is Flying Wedge Defense and Aerospace. This aircraft is classified as a medium altitude long endurance that is male unmanned aerial vehicle. And it has a wingspan of 5 meters and a length of 3.5 meters. It can fly at a cruising speed of 152 km per hour with a maximum speed of almost 250 km per hour. Next, next is in September, India successfully launched Agni 4 missile from the integrated test range in Chandipur, Odisha. That is Agni 4. It belongs to which type of missile? 
so this agni 4 this is a intercontinental ballistic missile and it was india that has successfully tested this agni 4 missile from the itr in chandipur odisha this agni 4 this is a surface to surface ballistic missile that has a range of 4000 kilometers next which shipbuilding company has recently launched two indigenously designed and constructed anti submarine warfare shallow watercraft named the ins malpe and ins Mulki. So, which is that shipbuilding company? It is Cochin Shipyard Limited that has developed this fourth and fifth of the eight anti submarine warfare shallow watercraft project. Fourth is INS Malpe, and the fifth is INS Mulki. Next, name the military exercise between India and USA that has recently commenced at the foreign training node in Rajasthan. What is the name of that exercise? The exercise is Yud Abhyas, right? And it will run till 22nd of September 2024. This is the 19th edition of this Yud Abhyas exercise held in Alaska, USA, right? I repeat this, the 19th edition. I repeat uh, one more thing, correction here. The 19th edition of Yud Abhyas was held in Alaska, USA. But this time, this is the 20th edition of this exercise that we are talking about that was held where in Rajasthan. Next, which defense company has recently signed a contract worth 26,000 crore rupees with the Ministry of Defense for the procurement of 240 AL-31FP aero engines for Sukhoi, Mark, Sukhoi 30 Mark 1 aircraft of the Indian Air Force? So, which is the defense company? It is Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Next, name the country where Indian Navy's P-8I aircraft recently reached to participate in the 16th edition of exercise Kakandu. So, what is the country where Indian Navy's aircraft reach? It is Australia, right? Then in this exercise, more than 3,000 personnel, over 32 nations took part. Next is name the missile that the Indian Navy and DRDO successfully tested in flight from the launch pad of the ITR in Chandipur of the coast of Odisha. What is the name of that missile? That is VLSRSCM, that is Vertical Launch Short Range Surface to Air Missile. Next, next is name the joint exercise that was recently conducted between Indian Air Force and Royal Oman Air Force in Oman. What is the name of that exercise? The exercise is Eastern Bridge. And this bilateral exercise began on 11th of September and it will end on 22nd of September. Also remember the fifth edition of Al Naja exercise held between Indian Army and Royal Army of Oman, right? So air exercise is Eastern Bridge and the exercise between the armies is Al Naja. Next, Ministry of Defense, they approved the Indian Navy's 2500 crore rupees plan to develop what? It was to develop the extra large unmanned underwater vessel. The vessels are expected to strengthen India's defense against enemy submarines and surface vessels. Next, which city has recently hosted the Indian Defense Aviation Expo that is IDAX 2024. So it is Jodhpur, Rajasthan where the, this Jodhpur, Rajasthan that is Jodhpur is the city where it hosted the Indian Defense Aviation Expo 2024. Also, Tarang Shakti exercise was concluded here. Tarang Shakti is one of the largest India's first multinational air exercise hosted by our Indian Air Force. Next, name the state of the art Calvary submarine escape training facility that was recently commissioned by the Indian Navy at INS Satwana in Vishakapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. So, recently, what is the name of that facility? It is Vinitra. Next, next is students science and technology. Which company has recently launched Sentinel 2C satellite aboard last Vega rocket for environmental monitoring? The name of the company is Ariana Space. This satellite, it will serve as the Earth Observation Satellite for the European Union, which will provide important data for the environmental, correct, or we can say important data for the environment monitoring. Next, name the India's first space station, which will be launched by 2028 by ISRO. So, India's space station, it is Bharatiya Antrix Space Station. And the entire setup will have five modules first module will be launched in 2028 and it is expected by 2035 india will have our own space station next 
which company has recently announced plans to set up India's first multi-sensor all-weather high revisit Earth observation satellite constellation. What is the name of that organization? It is Nive Space Private Limited. Right? It aims to promote India's defense and space capabilities that will promote self-reliance in the defense sector. And also you will be seeing with this in the coming five to six year, 40 low earth orbit satellites will have or the constellation will have 40 to 50 satellites here in the next five to six years. Next, name the SpaceX crew mission that has recently led by an American billionaire entrepreneur Jared Isaacman returned to Earth following the successful completion of the world's first private spacewalk. So who did the first private spacewalk? Jared Isaacman, right? He led this uh, mission and it is the mission of spacewalk. Question asked here is that what is the name of that SpaceX crew mission? So the mission's name is Polaris Dawn. Next, which country has recently launched the Chamran 1 research satellite into orbit by QAM 100 satellite carrier? So this both Chamran 1 satellite and QAM 100 satellite carrier, it is of Iran, right? This Chamran 1 satellite, it weighs around 60 kilograms and it is designed to test the hardware and software for orbital maneuver technology. Next, according to a recent study from USA based Cornell University, the first human made meteor shower may occur from the rocket derby's leftover from NASA's which mission. So it has been leftover from NASA's double asteroid redirection test mission. Right. Next. Next is which aerospace company has recently launched project 200 an innovative satellite design to operate at an ultra low earth orbit. So what is the name of that aerospace company? The company is Bellastrix Aerospace Private Limited. Next, name the rocket that was launched by China from a sea platform on the waters near the city of Hyang to place eight satellites into planned orbit. The name of that rocket is Geelong 3. Next, name the space capsule that landed in Kazakhstan with Roscosmos cosmonaut Nikolai Chubb and Oleg Konako and NASA's astronaut Tracy Dyson from the ISS in September 2024. So what is the name of that space capsule? It is Soyuz MS-25. So that's all for the day students. Now let's move to some revision current affairs that will be very beneficial in your learning. Next, who has recently been elected as the president of Vietnam? So Luong Kong has been appointed or elected as the president of Vietnam and he will be succeeding to La. Next, which bank has recently acquired 24.9% shareholding in Future Generali India Insurance Company Limited? So it is Central Bank of India. They have acquired this 24.9% shareholding in Future Generali India Insurance Company Limited. Next is when is National Solidarity Day observed across India? So National Solidarity Day is observed on 20th of October across India. And this is basically to pay tribute to the soldiers who lost their life in the line of duty to the nation during the 1962 Indochina War. Next, which company has recently unveiled their new logo and launched seven customer centric services in New Delhi? It is Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited. Next, which ministry has recently organized the international workshop on modern technologies in survey resurvey for urban land records in New Delhi? This is to basically maintain the land records in a digitized format and it has been launched by which ministry? It is Ministry of Rural Development, M-O-R-D. Next, which among the following countries have recently signed the Digital Infrastructure Growth Initiative for India Framework, that is Digi Framework, to strengthen the digital infrastructure development in India? So, which among the following countries have signed this Digi Framework? It is all three of them, USA, Japan and South Korea, they have signed this Digi Framework that will strengthen the digital infrastructure in India. Here, this framework has been signed between the Development Finance Corporation of USA, JBIC of Japan, that is Japan Bank for International Cooperation and South Korea, Exim Bank. Next, 
नेक्स्ट वेयर वॉज द इंडियन नेवी रिसेंटली लॉन्च देयर फोर्थ न्यूक्लियर पावर्ड ब्लास्टिक मिसाइल सबमरीन अंडर द कोड नेम एस फोर स्टार सो वेयर वॉज दिस लॉन्च इट वॉज लॉन्च एट विशाखापट्टनम आंध्र प्रदेश एंड रिमेंबर दिस एस फो और वी कैन से विद स्टार्टेड दिस एस फोर स्टार फॉलोज द कमीशन ऑफ आई एन एस अरी घात राइट दिस इज द सेकेंड सबमरीन हेयर ऑफ दैट इज योर ब्लास्टिक मिसाइल सबमरीन करेक्ट देन थर्ड इज योर आई एन एस अरिद अरिधमन विच वॉज द फर्स्ट दैट वॉज आई एन एस अरिहंत राइट एंड दिस इज द फोर्थ न्यूक्लियर पावर ब्लास्टिक मिसाइल एस फोर्स था नेक्स्ट आई सी जी दैट इज योर इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड हैज लॉन्च द टू फास्ट पेट्रोल वेसल्स अदाम्या एंड डैश दैट आर बिल्ड बाय द गोवा शिप यार्ड लिमिटेड सो अदाम्या एंड अक्षर दीज आर द टू फास्ट पेट्रोल वेसल्स दैट हैज बिन लॉन्च बाय इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड दैट आर बिल्ड बाय गोवा शिप यार्ड लिमिटेड एंड दे कंटेन मोर देन सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ द इंडिजीनियस कॉन्टेंट नेक्स्ट हु वन द मैक्सिको सिटी ग्रैंड पिक्स दैट वॉज हेल्ड इन मैक्सिको सो हु वन इट इट वॉज वन बाय कार्लॉस सेंस कार्लॉस सेंस इज फ्रॉम स्पेन ही ड्राइव फॉर फरारी एंड ही हैज वन दिस टाइटन नाउ Lando Norris of McLaren he secured the second position here right and Charles Lesler he secured third position he also drives for Ferrari next next is in October PM Narendra Modi recently launched the Karam Yogi Saptah that is your national learning week which was observed from 19th to 27th of October right this is a week long program a week long program the aim of which is basically to make sure that the lifelong learning is there and skills are being provided to various central civil servants to central civil servants today's generation skills and the requirements in their job that are uh, the skills that are required in their job are taught and enhanced to these individuals next when is police commemoration day observed across india to honor police personals who have lost their life in the line of duty it is 21st of october we observe police commemoration day and this day basically remembers the martyrs of the 10 policemen who were killed by the chinese troops during the reconnaissance mission in ladakh next when is world snow leopard day observed across the globe so it is 23rd of october we observe world snow leopard day right and take a note of this this snow leopard the scientific name of the snow leopard is panthera ansia next which day is declared as the world rural development day by united nation general assembly so which day is declared as world rural development day it is 6th of july observed as world rural development day and for the first time remember this day will be observed in 2025 right we can say the inaugural edition will be in 2025 right next when was himalaya day was also known as the himalaya day observed across india so himalaya divas or himalaya day observed on 9th of september and it is to basically create awareness about the importance of the himalayan mountain range and its ecosystem this year 9th of september 2024 it was the 15th edition of the himalaya divas next when is the world suicide prevention day celebrated to create awareness about suicide prevention reduce stigma and help people so un international day oh sorry world suicide prevention day it is observed on 10th of september right next next is when is national forest martyrs day observed across india so national forest martyrs day observed on 11th of september and this is basically to raise awareness about the khejri massacre that took place in 1730s and this day is observed basically to make sure that the people who are working towards the protecting indian forest and wildlife right they are brave or they are recognized next un international day for south south cooperation is annually celebrated when so un international day for south south Co uh, cooperation is celebrated on 12th of september to highlight the importance of cooperation among the developing countries of the global south and for the first time this was observed in 2004 next when was hindi divas annually observed across india to commemorate the adoption of hindi 
एज वन ऑफ द ट्वेंटी टू ऑफिशियल लैंग्वेजेज ऑफ इंडिया सो हिंदी दिवस ऑब्जर्व ऑन फोर्टीन ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर एंड दिस डे रेज इज द अवेयरनेस एंड प्रमोट द यूसेज ऑफ हिंदी लैंग्वेज दिस ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इट मार्क्स द सेवेंटी फिफ्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ हिंदी बिकमिंग द ऑफिशियल लैंग्वेज वर्ल्ड हिंदी डे इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन टेंथ ऑफ जनवरी नेक्स्ट वेन वॉज द नेशनल इंजीनियर्स डे ऑब्जर्व नेशनल इंजीनियर्स डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फिफ्टींथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर नेक्स्ट वेन वॉज द फर्स्ट एवर यू एन इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इनोवेशन फॉर द साउथ ऑब्जर्व सो यू एन इंटरनेशनल डे और यू एन इंटरनेशनल डे फॉर द साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इनोवेशन ऑब्जर्व ऑन सिक्सटींथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर राइट दिस डे हाईलाइट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ एस टी आई इन अचीविंग द सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स नेक्स्ट वेन वॉज यू एन इंटरनेशनल डे फॉर इंटरनेशनल कार्डियोलॉजी एनुअली ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब इट इज सिक्सटींथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर वी ऑब्जर्व दिस डे एंड दिस ईयर इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इट वॉज द सेकेंड ऑब्जर्वेंस ऑफ दिस डे फर्स्ट वॉज ऑब्जर्व इन नेक्स्ट वेन वॉज यू एन इंटरनेशनल इक्वल पे डे ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब टू रेज अवेयरनेस अबाउट द जेंडर पे गैप राइट सो इट इज एटीन ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर वी ऑब्जर्व दिस डे एंड दिस टाइम इट वॉज द फिफ्थ टाइम और फिफ्थ ऑब्जर्वेंस ऑफ दिस डे द फर्स्ट ऑब्जर्वेंस वॉज इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी नेक्स्ट वेन वॉज वर्ल्ड वाटर मॉनिटरिंग डे एनुअली ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब सो वर्ल्ड वाटर मॉनिटरिंग डे ऑब्जर्व ऑन एटीनथ ऑफ September and this is basically to create awareness about the monitoring water quality issues and promote the public involvement in protecting the water resources there is a theme for this day that is water for peace next when was the first un world cleanup day observed across the globe it is 20th of september Next, when was the World Alzheimer's Day annually observed across the globe to raise awareness and challenges the stigma around Alzheimer disease? So, it is thirty. Uh, it is twenty first of September that we observe this day. Correct. And Alzheimer is a disease in which a person is having a dementia, or basically, the person forgets the things. Next, International Red Panda Day is annually observed across the globe. When? it is generally observed on the third saturday of september month it is observed on the third saturday of the september month for the first time this day was observed on 18th of september in 2010 and this year it is 21st of september observed in 